We've seen the gruesome pictures of what Tyree looked like after his arrest when he's in the hospital, but so many questions remain about how a 29-year-old citizen ended up dead after a traffic stop. That's where the Shelby County DA's office and TBI come in, and today I sat down with Shelby County DA Steve Mulroy and learned new information about how the officers involved in the Nichols case might be charged and how the video we keep hearing about might be released. DA Steve Mulroy is just four months into the job and he's overseeing some of the city's most high profile cases in recent memory. From the Liza Fletcher kidnapping and killing to the shooting rampage that shut down Memphis and now the Tyree Nichols case, putting Memphis under the national spotlight. He knows this is the most sensitive case yet, which is why you're more likely to get an answer like this. I got to be careful about commenting about specific facts of the case, particularly before we're even ready to uh, release the video. Ah, that video, which Nichols family attorney Ben Crump said better be released by the two-week self-imposed deadline of February 6th or else. For the first time, Mulroy confirmed police body cam footage is among the sources of video. Although beyond that, cell phone video, ring video, or surveillance cameras are the most likely sources. Mulroy also said while the video technically belongs to the city, which could release it at any time, the city has agreed to release it jointly with his office. And I asked why it's taking so long. He said the answer is simple. If suspects or witnesses see the video before they give statements to police, that video can influence their answers. Even a, a non-suspect witness may end up, rather than talking to law enforcement about what they actually remember based on their own experience, it'll be filtered through what they saw on the video and they'll be talking more about what they saw on the video than what they actually witnessed themselves. You don't want that kind of contamination. You don't want a, that kind of manipulation. Bullroy says the video also needs to have things like witness addresses, names and faces redacted before the whole world sees it. But that's not all Mulroy answered questions about. While Tyree's stepdad insisted Monday nothing less than a first degree murder charge would do, Mulroy says that kind of pressure won't work on him. I can say definitively that neither in this case or in any other case I've had so far in my tenure is outside pressure really going to make a decision, uh, make an influence on the decision. We're going to go by the facts and the law. And as you correctly stated, Richard, what we think we have a reasonably good chance of convincing a jury beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. In fact, Mulroy's newly formed independent judicial review unit will recommend what if any charges could be filed against the officers. And don't be surprised if the release of the video and announcement of any criminal charges all happen at the same time. That's possible. No commitments. Nothing's off the table. A couple more developments uh, D.A. Mulroy shared today. He's having a private meeting with protesters tomorrow. And regarding rumors that somehow Nichols might have known at least one of the officers involved in his arrest, Mulroy said he wanted to end any speculation about that and has, quote, no reason to think that is the case.